of bucks is fries and back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome into my returning subs my grown extended beautiful family thank you so much for love and support um being able go through daily basis and allow myself to be able to be that open book to talk amongst you um with my you know my mishaps my you know my failures me falling on my face coming back um it's truly a blessing to be that open book to allow the things that i'm you know working on towards myself and the progress to be the best version of myself is allowing people to basically resonate with the certain situations they're going through as well and it's truly a blessing and amazing that we all can you know resonate in some kind of way or another so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up, tell me about your impact to get how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video gives you good information or even good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times and they need spiritual guidance or confirmation or validation towards the life path or even the soul journey, please go ahead and share and while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my... um motivational i mean motivational meditation <laughs> meditation music i'm having in the background is really peaceful it's is 432 hertz seven chakra healing uh balance align vibrational aura cleansing and i will post that link in the description box below and my video today is twin flame 101 hey Oka, the purpose of life is about life of purpose and it's true you know, a lot of people are just here just being but there's a lot of people that are you know that are empaths and they're becoming awake like I told y'all a few months ago you know with all of us going through certain many, certain things and it's just like um, a lot of the shifts that earth is going through uh, see y'all it's like almost every video I do like start really flashing it's getting crazy um that we all experience different things a lot of things it can seem amazing some things you're like huh what the what <laughs> you know and it's just all these different things you know like i've, I've told y'all i have visions of you know different empaths or you know getting you know their 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 uh switch foot you know a lot of them are not aware of the certain gifts they you know i have you know bestowed upon them a lot of things that they weren't allowing their self to be uh focused on it's like they wanted to like brush it off like oh lord no <laughs> you know that can't be possibly me but there's a lot of things that we have been brought through and going to to have a purpose in our life a lot of people are, are you know going to be on that 3d you know matrix a lot of them place limited beliefs a lot on themselves some of us do the same thing as as you know we do that being in our you know um human type self you know we're up in this this suit that they forced us to be in but allowing ourselves to know this is something we picked before this lifetime we already picked the people who we're going to be with we we, we date we date the people that we plan to date we, we were in friendships we picked all these different things that we go through and it can be very hectic because you probably have went this lifetime has been very hectic for you and it's like not this time is very unique about all the things you have went through you have prepared to go through different tragedies different mishaps some people separating themselves from you um you know jobs aren't working right it's like all these things had to be placed in your life to teach you something you know it, it's just a lot of times we go on our average day-to-day -day basis being at jobs we don't fit in at you know complaining about that bringing our work home or dealing with certain things in our life that we needed to change um focusing on things that we didn't allow ourselves to focus on you know a lot of times we try to make sense on why we went through the things we had to go through and it's just like our life world is full of chaos hate diversity 
you know, envy, jealousy, gluttony, all these different things we're all going through. You know, they're so quick to place these on social media platforms. They make videos about, you know, people wounding animals, children getting abused. You know, people, you know, all these different things, the dark way of all those things that's had to happen in life. But we had to be able to be those ones that went through, you know, it's like you're being a prophet. You had to go through so much hell and high water and you had to be that messenger to allow people to know the things that went on into your life. The mishaps that you had to learn from and grow from. Um, the experiences that you never want to be able to experience again it's just like they're using you as that beacon to be able to help other people come come into love you know make sense of the crazy situations it's like well we can push out so much hate we can use that same energy to press out love you know togetherness nobody's different from anybody else yeah we might look look different we might have different backgrounds but we're almost all the same. All of us could be able to connect. You know, it, it's just like a lot of us, we place judgment on different people because they don't think the way we do or they don't look the way we do. You know, we categorize people of certain different backgrounds has made a really bad impact in people's lives. They try to figure out that all of the rest of them are like that as well. And it's just like, I used to hate seeing that. You know, I was like, not everybody is like that. We always had, and no matter what diverse ethnic background, they always got that one or a few. You know, that there it doesn't come in any shape, form, or fashion or whatever religion they cause by. You know, you should be able to, if somebody didn't do that, you know, a lot of things has happened in our lives where, you know, we start looking at people one-sided. You know, we, we weren't born into hate that has to be a taught thing you know and it's just like when I see things in the world there's sometimes I have to shut I try not to shut my eyes on things you know and there's so many different crazy things we don't have to be at war you know we don't have you know and it's just I'm tired of hearing about children being bombed or all these different things that are happening to children animals I hate it <laughs> you know and I'm just like I want to do my part on trying to get this you know the Disease. You know, we've been going through these things for so long and it's just like having to go about this for a long way can be, it can be really dark because it's just like with us being empaths, we feel everything, no matter if it's sadness, anger, confusion, we feel everything and that's just, you know, there's some people that are not empaths and the things that I allow them to know about my life and they see that I'm special at, you know, um, they were like, oh, I would, I would really wish I was an empath. I'm like, don't put that on your life. Don't do that. You know, it's like, I'm glad I'm not just like any other person. You know, we're all unique in our own way, you know, but it's just like, I would not want to place that upon somebody where, yes, the downside is, I mean, the upside is that we help others. We, you know, give them that love that they deserve, allow them to have that kind you know, kind words of endearment towards them. But the downside is we feel everything. If, if the earth is in disarray, we feel it. You know, people that pass by us, we soak up all their energy. It's like, that's not good. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. But being able to know that your gift serves a higher purpose for yourself, that you, you have that duty to help heal the world in whatever way, shape, form, or fashion. You know, like there's times y'all don't heard me say, I wish we had an impact planet. <laughs> so we can all go here and all the bad people can stay on one planet and all the good ones that want peace and harmony can stay on this one yeah it might be boring because there ain't nobody acting a fool over there but at least you can have a peace of mind you don't you don't have to worry about nothing over on that planet you know all those different things shoot they should even have insurance for impasse because we catch everything you know what i'm saying so it's just like a lot of things that our life has purpose for but it's like going down this path you know, there's a lot of times you're like, what is my purpose? I mean, there's like, you don't know who you are. And it's just like some people take offense to that. It's like, you, you know, you love yourself, but how are you going to love yourself if you don't really know yourself? You know what I'm saying? There's so many different things about you that has not been discovered yet. You had to go through trials and tribulations for you to be able to know this one adds with this one. You know, I always tell people, you don't just have one gift. God didn't allow that to happen. He done gave me about five or six of them. And it's his, his point on when he wants to shed light on these. You know, there's a lot of times when you have worked on one for a while or two for a while or even three. At that point, you're healed.
healing, you're recognizing a lot of things. You know, you're you're being one with the universe. You're, you know, when you when world shifts in this different moon phases, you shift right along with it. And you know, you work on that for a while. I'm like, okay, they've been working on this. Oh, okay, let me allow this one to be popped up. You're like, wait a minute, hold up, what is this? You know, all these different things we had to experience in life. You know, you are magical in your own special way. You have all these different gifts that might make the average person lose their daggone mind, but that's what you were made for. You know, you have that loving energy if you're able to apply that, but there's also empaths that are not so loving energy and they don't use it for good. You know, all these different things has happened in our lives, but a lot of, we had to go through a lot of pain, a lot of anguish. You know, to allow ourselves to know what that felt like, we would never be able to want to place that on somebody else. You know, nobody's life is perfect, but it's like we had to go through these chain of events through Kundalini, Ascension, uh, you know, uh, Dark Night of the Soul, then through all these spiritual awakenings while going through all these other things that, you know, I, I, mine was just really messed up because I went through all four of them at the same time. People were like, God, dog, how many spiritual awakenings you have to go through it just depends on how much pain you have endured you know what is still there festering that you know you had to come to terms with all these things you know when people are just okay living that it's like the most boringest thing to me <laughs> you know that well that's my opinion it's boring because you're just living to live you know living to survive and you're not living to really live and that's a sad situation because everybody has a purpose and like they have that higher purpose but a lot of you a lot of us don't take that credit to acknowledge that purpose, you know, so it's just like when you don't acknowledge it or whatever, God will put something in your way to make you acknowledge it. Like you only can ignore it for so long, you know, as soon as I said that, <laughs> fall let up, you know, and get notifications like, yep, you're on the right path, you know, and it's just a blessing when I, you know, I connect with y'all um, on that level, especially when I'm on one-on-one -on -one with y'all, it, it's just you know, there are certain things that just popped off in my life. Like, did I really just help that person like that? Or God allowed me to be able to see things within myself. I didn't know I, you know, I was able to do, you know, I used to have to work on it, but it's just things that come out naturally that I'm, I'm proud of myself for. And it's just like, the more I connect with different empaths, you know, the further my gift is, you know, that's how it's supposed to be, I guess. You know, when we just all connect and when you get on that one-on-one -on -one basis and really start talking, it's like one person is learning off of you as you learn off of them. You know, a lot of us don't give ourselves that credit. You know, there's times I second guess, you know, did I have what it takes? But it, God allowed me to see the people that are coming forth. They're allowing me to say, you know what, Rosalind, if you wouldn't have brought this out or you would have said certain things this way, I wouldn't have been able to see certain things that happen in my life this way and you know and it, it just allows and it doesn't give me a big head or make me feel conceited or about or be uh arrogant it was just it humbled me for me to be able to go through certain things and being able to preach god's gospel or whatever you want to say on learn of lessons in life you know i tell people you know hey i've been through this certain situation before allow me to help don't go through the same mistakes that I had to go down. You know, I love to be able to do that with people. You know, if we have been, you know, to that point where we have been verbally abused or physically or emotionally abused, I would love to take that time out and give that person, you know, that love that they didn't feel throughout themselves. You know, I try to press that on my children. Um, there are so many different things we go in life that we truly have a purpose for, you know, and a lot of times God puts us on these high pedestals for us to do things. And you're like, you really want me to do that? Uh, you know, obviously God believes in the fact is oh, I gave you the right job. I gave you, I signed this to you, you know, and I'm like, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. How are you going to have faith in, you know, because God has faith in you when you don't have faith in yourself. You know, he allows certain things to happen for you to be able to project you know things to be able to help others and it's just like a lot of times i see why i had to go through a lot of things because you know he's pushing my experiences to be able to help others deal with theirs being able to you know face whatever is coming up to them with all open arms you know it's like okay i accept this but now it's good for me to part my ways with this it had its lesson it did its purpose allow myself to heal from these things and that's a beautiful situation to be placed upon because there are so many ugly things that has happened to us that you know especially certain things that we have not told people about because it was too painful 
you know, a lot of times we go through these situations for us to be able to come something else. You know, we have probably thought about ourselves in a certain way one time. And then when all these healing processes are coming down the path, you have molded yourself into something bigger and better than you ever thought you would be able to come. To come. And, you know, that that's strength right there. You know, I, there's a lot of y'all have been coming in contact with me and I've known y'all for probably like three to six months. Or there's some of y'all that I've been blessed with that's been in my life for a year. And I've seen y'all do a total. 360 and if I see it and even if I feel it just the way you respond to certain things you know I might not see you but I feel the energy that you're carrying upon yourself yeah when you know you're still a work in progress and you're instilling yourself that it, like every day I'm gonna take a you know heal myself the best way I know how no I might not get over it tomorrow but I'm working towards that point you know you don't have you can't give a time limit on things where okay by two o'clock I'm gonna be over this you know you can't do that but you know if you're applying that into yourself to let you know hey I know I got bigger and better that's coming towards my way but I have to be able to have faith in the universe as well as myself that I'm going to be able to get these blessings that are coming towards my way I just have to work on myself I have a purpose you know my pain has had a purpose. Me going through all these different things had a purpose. You have to go through a lot of things for you to be able to experience things. So when you are aiming towards the things that you truly want in life, it has educated you in so many ways. Like, you know, when I see different motivational speakers, it's truly a blessing to me. They tell your up they tell their ups and downs. There was one guy and I forgot what his name was. And he showed a picture of him being on meth for so many years. You know, he I think he was from Hawaii. Um, and he did so many things, you know, he was not proud of. But God used him as that conduit to be able to show you where he was rock bottom. And now this man is up here going off and being a motivational speaker, you know, running uh, different uh, I think marathons for certain different causes, you know, you would have never thought, you know, even when he would have told you that you're like, yeah, right. But he actually showed the picture, a mug shot of him. And he was like, you can tell he'd been through a lot. He had a hard life, but now, you know, he's been sober for like five or six years or something like that. And that man's going across the world, just, you know, being able to brace people with his, his experience, you know, God has to allow you to go to rock bottom for you to experience things, experience that downfall, have people judge you, abuse you, just for you to be at that bottom of the barrel, there ain't no way to go but up, you know, if you, you keep on saying, oh, I'll never heal from that, I guess you won't if you had that mindset that you ain't gonna never hear from, heal from the things that's been placed in your life, if you know you're gonna tell yourself, you do affirmation towards yourself every day to say, I am going to heal I am going to set you know step away from things that are no longer serving me I'm gonna step away from toxic relationships I'm gonna step away from toxic you know thinking you know get away from all those different things you if you have to apply that to your you know your daily affirmation and say that in the mirror every day is going to, be to that point where your mind is going to train yourself to know I'm going to get out of this situation I might not know how but God and angels you know that's what they're there for you call upon them they'll they'll help you get to where you got to get when you're asking them please can you help me you know not think about certain things that I can't change they're going to try their best to work all that out so they can f have you focus on things that actually brings joy to your life brings happiness to your life you know you can actually be that messenger to tell people these are the things that I've experienced in life this is how I got where I had to go through you know I'm no longer of you know dwelling on things that's been placed in my life that really messed me up I actually use that as a milestone to get over what I need to get over so I can deserve the better things in life you know when we keep surfacing around the things that's pop you know happen instead of using that saying you know what this really messed my life up but it's also taught me a lot of situations too my tragedy has allowed me to forgive has allowed me to stay focused you know even though there's times I have mishaps I go a little bit backwards and you know be focused on something if it pissed me off but then I was just like okay you know you being taught something but you're allowing yourself from help from certain situations that's been placed on you while you're healing from other things these things are going to teach you so many things that where you're going to have a positive purpose in your life and you might not be able to understand now why you had to go through it but the more you keep on focusing on you being better you separation se separating yourself from those tragedies you will understand why you had to go through what you had to go through and knowing that was a blessing within itself for those tragedies that's been placed upon your life.
So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I love y'all so much. And I'm so glad you're able to resonate with these things. It's truly a blessing to me that I can be able to be that guy or that little person on your shoulder. Let you know things are going to be okay. You know, we're not going to be in the dark all the time. You know, you have to be able to, you know, you want to be in the sunshine, but you have to be able to dance in the rain. So know that better days are coming for you. You know, if you're working hard and you're staying focused on things that are going to elevate you, not the things that are holding you back, you know, better days are coming your way. And, you know, uh, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line. Let me know how you feel. Let me know if you resonate with this or is this a sign that you, what you truly needed today. Um, I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Tracy uh, Batolin. I think I'll or yeah for totally and i hope i pronounce your last name right much love to you i uh, know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there is always somebody out there better uh praying for your better days and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can and i'll see you on my next video much love peace